Miss Kate. Welcome to Co-Parenting with Narcissists 101. Thank you for joining me and thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I upload more videos. Guys, uh, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. And I hope that out of everything that, you know, you've been through and how the year has, you know, been going, that you find something to be thankful for today, you know, to remind yourself, I know how thankful you should be. You know, even if it's one thing, one thing out of, you know, the crazy, crazy year that we had and the experiences that you are still in or you're just coming out from, uh, you're still in the process of healing, that uh, you find something to be thankful for today. Now, guys, today brings uh, something, a topic that I think everybody should be mindful of or be pay, pay attention to is uh, how your new boundaries or the new uh, the, the work in progress, the, your journey, it's going to confuse some people. You know, this is a period where everybody's going to gather and everybody's going to, people that have, haven't seen you before, you know, because some people are still moving around regardless of what's going on outside. You know, so this is a time where some people might be experiencing or seeing your journey um, that you've been undergoing, family members, that you've been undergoing for a while, you know. Or that you you know you have maybe you haven't even or you know what is going on you're still in there in that relationship uh situation but you know you understand what's going on now now some people will show up and expecting you to be the same person that you've been now you know don't get me wrong these people probably under, understand you know you or they, they know what happened um, if you're healing, you know, if you're the ones that, you know, that you left, they know what happened. They know what, you know, went wrong or what he did to you or what she did to you, you know, and, they, and they're firmly, you know, they, they do, they really do believe they're firmly on your side and, you know, you're going to work through these and this is going to be okay. You know, going to give you time to heal, you know, you're, you're going through the journey of, you know, rediscovering yourself and elevating you know yourself to another level they're all of that they they, they understand that then they, they, they know that however because these people have issues of their own you know they have uh maybe the codependency issue on their own they have some of that behavioral problems that they need to work on on their own these things have start affecting yours you know so like i was saying in in uh in my uh the blog that I wrote is sometimes they don't even know that they are interfering in you healing, you know. And like I said, this is a particular time to bring this up because families will be gathered and everything, and some people don't know that they are confused really about the boundary that you set. They understand you're trying to heal, you're try trying to try you're trying to fix, you know, what you came out of, you know. And, and, and get yourself together but they still expect you to be the same person and now you, can, you you can't be the same person coming out of a narcissistic abusive relationship because there's a reason why it went on how it went on there's a reason why these people were able to get in our lives and do what they did you know it means there's some there's some place that we have not fixed there's a crack somewhere we need to you know fix and adjust so um for you to do that it means that you fix everything means some things will change in how you relate to other people and how to relate to you know a, a new partner or whatever it is because you would have fixed something that is you didn't know or somebody something that the narcissist took advantage of you know so but the people that in your life the family members of close friends they're still expecting you to still show up with this little crack you know with this little uh, uh, space that you know that the, uh, uh, the narcissist uh, was able to get into the toxic person that in your life was able to get into so when you're trying to explain to these people that uh, part of my healing is that I don't indulge in that anymore yeah I know you want to help uh, you know cousin Jane again and, and, and do this and do that but I, I, I've, I've experienced that and uh, this will be the fifth time uh, everybody's volunteering me to do this um and I, and I've done it in the past too you know but uh now it's, it's time for me to you know I'm you know doing my self-reflection and I can't do that anymore 
you know i can't do that anymore it's it's gonna uh, draw me backwards it's gonna undermine me because these people don't even know that they're undermining you they love you though they do they really do love you uh in their own way but like i said because of the behavior the issues that they themselves have is affecting how they are looking at your healing process even though they say they're for you but they don't understand what it takes to actually for you to actually heal that yes my healing process is going to change certain things which will affect how you you know you know me and you relate <laughs> you know so they are the ones that like oh what happened you changed you know that's that's what's going on and and they're probably still trying to get you to move this boundary you know because they're confused like what are you talking about no, you know, we got to help them. You know, we got to do this. You got to help me with this. And, and I have to do that. You know, what, what else am I supposed to do? Who's supposed to do it? Uh, <laughs> this is the people that are confused by your journey. They are confused what it takes for you to heal from where you're coming from. And you have to pay attention to this as you are healing to not have people that are supposed to be in your corner. And they, like I said, they might definitely think they're in your corner, but they're undermining you because they them, their own issues, their own personal uh, behavior, their own personal things that they need to work on, they have not dealt with that. So they bring that over to you without even knowing. You know, to them, they're, you know, this is, you're doing nothing wrong, but that is affecting your, uh, your journey. So you pay attention to when you are setting boundaries to make sure that Yes, you're setting boundaries now, and that is not like focus just on, you know, how you relate to whoever the next partner is or whatever it is, the already established narcissist in your household. But there are other people, there are people around that are used to the old you that will still not understand why this, you know, lines are drawn in the sand, like why this wall is up, why there's a, okay, this is where that stops. You know, I'm, I'm comfortable with just that side. This is what I'm, this, you don't cross this line now. They are still, they're, they're confused about it. I don't understand it. So as you gather, you have these people sure because there's always one. They don't understand, like they are for you. They understand what you went through, but they don't as, I expect that your healing journey and you rediscovering you and elevating to a new level is going to affect them, <laughs> you know? It's going to affect them. So they still want you to be you. And you cannot be you having a new set of uh, where you do things. Just be one-sided. It has to. It, it, it applies across the board. It applies across the board. So you pay attention to this as you're healing. So you don't have things. People that say that they respect, that they respect you um, undermine you. And, and not intentionally, but... They undermine your process, you know. So happy Thanksgiving, guys! Um, I hope, like I said, you find something out of everything that's going on, out of the things that are going on in your life that went on in your life, to be thankful for, and and, and make sure you firmly focus. Stay focused, even today, <laughs> most specifically today, on um, healing, getting your mind right. Don't, don't don't keep your mind in complete control. <laughs> You know, as you go go about today and the afterwards. All right, guys, get hold of your mind, and everything's falling into place. Please like and share. Take.